Basically, uh, when I perform, my style is that I use one keyboard instead of like the old uh, tradition of using many, many keyboards. My concept is to use one very powerful master controller, and uh, the one that I'm using today is the Kurzweil uh, K2600 keyboard. And uh, what's cool about the way that I have it set up, if you notice, is that I have uh, a very interesting looking stand and it's made by a guy in Holland whose name is Patrick Slates and uh, he's a master stand builder. Matter of fact, I have a few of these stands and what's cool about it is that I can do the, uh, the complete rotation. So as I'm playing, I can smile at that part of the crowd or I can turn and I've gotten very good at kind of like keeping my hands on the keys active while I'm kind of pushing so it almost looks uh, hopefully a little bit like magic. So. Uh, I can smile it. Anyway, and um, a lot of people ask me what this little knob is that uh, they see me tweaking on the keyboard, and that's actually my master volume knob, so if the entire rig is too loud, I can just use this handy little knob and turn the whole thing down. The next thing to notice is all the pedals on the floor. There's a lot of pedals, and I've got to be extremely careful when I walk, because things can get very complicated especially when I'm doing these fancy spins. So I've practiced my dancing quite a bit. So um, what we've got going here is basically my pedal system is almost duplicated in two spots. I've got this pedal, which is used a lot for like a wah-wah type effect on leads. I've got the one that's on my right, which is used for like a Leslie organ simulation. I've got this one right in front of me, which is a damper pedal for sustain. And then I've got this one, which is extremely important on my left, which is the program change pedal. So the way that I can play one keyboard and have all the different sounds is because as I'm playing along, I can just click on this pedal, and when I press it, the entire sound changes. That's, this one pedal is the one that sends commands to all my instruments to change the complete sound. So every module could go to a completely different patch. So, um, and before we move to the modules, I'll show you this little device. This uh, thing that I keep right in front of me is called a Music Pad Pro. It's uh, designed by a company called Freehand Systems. And it's basically a computer. It's, a, it's like a digital tablet that you can write on. And I use it to display, you know, like notes, and standard musical notation, or just any kind of like little reminders I might say on it. Uh, A0 meaning the last A in the key. It has a sample on it of some weird vocal effect, or I might say it, the top octave has strings. So I use it as little reminders. Keyboard world can get very complex sometimes. There's a lot to remember. So my little digital tablet functions nicely for that. And this I can turn the page on just by touching it. So sometimes you'll see me play, and I'll just reach out and touch it, and it actually changes the page. If I don't want to touch it and my hands are busy as I'm reading something on it, that's what this pedal on the floor is for. So. That's, uh, that's my pedal system on this side. And if I move over here, and I'm facing the audience, I actually have the same pedal system except for the program change on my music pad. Then I just have to touch it. So that's what's happening on this side. Beyond that, in back of me is, a, is an entire world of uh, a lot of power. Let's see how you're gonna sneak in there to take a look. Um, this is my rack. Uh, and this rack has all the different synthesizers that I use. Um, on top is a Korg Karma. Um, and I don't actually have my hands on the keys during the performance, but because of the magic of MIDI, I have a MIDI cable connected into this whole world. And as I play in the master controller, everything gets triggered. So, and the Korg Karma being one of those. So you're hearing a lot of the sounds of this, for instance, but you never see me actually coming back here and jamming. So, and then, here, um, you've got a whole lot of racks. Actually, uh, some of these things are backups. What I use in the performance is I use two 20, Kurzweil 2600R fully loaded racks. I use a fully loaded Triton uh, rack. And then I also have a backup Kurzweil and I have a backup Triton. And in my big case, which is uh, not visible at the moment, we have um, a backup Karma as well. Uh, and then, very important to my system, is a um, power protector. So if the power goes down and everybody loses power, I don't. 
I guess it's about 20 minutes that I have to, uh, that all my sounds and all my samples in my keyboards and in my racks will remain. So when everybody's out of power, the keyboards will go on. And then uh, the final thing is I have my, uh, my mixer, my 16-channel Mackie mixer, and that just takes the uh, audio input of all the sound, and, uh, and I send that over to the boys at the front of house and the monitor guy, and, um, and that's about it. Actually, that's not it. One other thing. I will explain this box in back of me since people ask me what this thing is. Because sometimes I'll be playing, I'll be going like this and messing with stuff. What this is, it's a little headphone mixer and uh, instead of depending on our trusty monitor engineer for everything, I let him do his thing, but then if I need to have like the drums or the guitar or the keyboards a little bit louder or softer, I have my own control of it. So as a keyboard player, I kind of like to hear a mix of the sound, a balanced mix. Maybe the keyboard's just a little bit hotter. So that's what I'm constantly like working for in my ears. And I just use this to, you know, to have my own control of something I wanted for many tours and finally kind of pushed and, uh, and now it's here. And um, that's about it. See you at the show.